Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a basic 3D model in Autodesk Inventor Sheet Metal. In this, we will learn different commands such as face command, flinch, cut command, mirror, corner chamfer, and circular pattern and bend command. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new. Take a standard sheet metal part in millimeter and go to create. Now select the 2D sketch and here we will select exit plane. Rotate this. Now go to rectangle command and select two point center rectangle. Select this point. Here give dimension 100 mm. Tab 100 mm. Okay. Now go to sheet metal and select face command. Go to home. Now you can see the sheet metal thickness and ok. Now we will change the sheet metal thickness. So go to sheet metal defaults. The default thickness over here will be of 0.5 mm. Uncheck this and here type 2. This will be a 2 mm and apply. Ok. Exit. Now go to flange command and here select this top edge. You can see the this flange is on complete face but we want to offset it from this side. So go to more settings. From here select offset. Now you can see it is offset from 5 mm on both sides. So this is offset 1. This offset 1 is from this side and offset 2 is from this edge. We will take offset 1 as 0 and offset 2 as 35 mm. Okay. And the height of the flange will be 100 mm. Zoom out and apply. Okay. Exit. Now select this face, go to create sketch and go to line command. Make a line profile over here, select this point and close this profile. <coughs> Escape. Now go to dimensions. From this edge to this point, this will be 15 mm. And select this point. From bottom, this will be at 40 mm. Okay. Now go to sheet metal and select the cut command. Go to home. Now you can see it is selecting this profile to cut. It will cut up to depth of 2 mm or the thickness of the sheet and ok. Now we have made this. Now we will make these cut profiles. So select this face once again. Go to create sketch. Now go to circle command. Make one circle over here and one circle over here. Go to dimension, give this circle dia 10 and this also dia 10. From top, this circle center point will be at distance 15 mm and from back side, the center will be at, okay, escape, undo, Let's go to dimension. Select first center point and this side edge. This will be at 12.5 mm. Okay. Similarly, select this edge and this center point. Here the distance will be 12.5 mm. Go to horizontal constraint. Select this point and select this edge. Okay. Now it is horizontally aligned. Now we will go to slot profile. So go to rectangle, select center to center slot. Here make a slot profile and make one more slot profile over here. Okay. Now give the dimensions. Go to dimension. The width of this slot will be 5 mm. 
and the center to center distance of this will be 35 m okay <clears throat> from bottom this will be at a height of 25 and escape now go to dimension and from here till here give this dimension as 30 mm okay now go to vertical constraint select this point and select this point and go to equal constraint select this and select this similarly select this center line and select this center line okay now only we have to give the dimension from bottom so go to dimension here the dimension will be of 10 mm okay now finish sketch and go to cut command select all the profiles which we have made and okay <clears throat> okay so this will be the cut profile now we want to pattern all these profiles this side so go to mirror command and select this flange cut 1 cut 2 go to mirror plane select the origin and select yz plane and ok now you can see the same profile over here now we will work on the back side profile this profile we will make this profiles <coughs> it will look like this rotate go to part 2 go to flange command and select this face or edge and give this a dimension here of 30 mm ok and apply now select the side edge the inside flange will be created go to more setting here go to offset and this time we will offset from this bottom so make offset to a 0 and this is 27.5 ok now you can see there should be a minimum gap to open the sheet <coughs> ok and apply exit now we will pattern this also or mirror this profile select this go to mirror this will select the feature now for mirror plane again select yz plane and ok ok now we will make this cut profile for this go to corner chamfer and here take chamfer as 30 mm go to corners select this corner and select this corner and apply ok this is the profile now we will make the vent profile so select this face go to create sketch go to circle command here from this center point make circle of diet 30, 60 here 50 40 same center point 30 and 20 and the last circle of 10 dia ok we, we have made circle from dia 10 to dia 60 now go to sheet metal go to cut cut this 60 dia and we will cut alternate we have cut this so skip this now cut this and cut this ok now this will be left and ok ok this is left now we will make the middle ribs select this face go to create sketch go to line command and here select this center point till here and till here ok now go to offset command 
select this and this enter and here give distance 1 mm similarly select this both lines enter and give distance 1 mm ok now this is 1 1 mm offset escape now select this circle and make it a construction geometry now we have to close these profiles so from here select center point arc select this center point and select this point and this point similarly select this center point select this point and this point ok now escape go to sheet metal go to face it will select this close profile and ok now you can see the rib now we want to pattern this rib to pattern this go to circular pattern select here phase 2 go to rotation axis and select uh, go to home for rotation axis ok you can select any of these faces and the count here will be 8 and ok ok now you can see the vent profile over here now now we are left with this chamfer on this edge so from here go to corner chamfer and take distance of 15 mm select corners select this corner and select this corner and apply ok exit now we will assign the color to this from here we will select the metal 1800F hot and go to create flat pattern to make the flat pattern of this you can see the flat pattern now go back to folded part so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct these complex profiles in Autodesk and enter sheet metal I hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you